Hey, good morning everyone, TrackerMan44 here. You know, I know a lot of people get frustrated with me because I can't finish a project, uh, you know, in a reasonable amount of time, but there's always things propping up. Now, where else you have to ask yourself, can you go where one day we're working on a 106 year old machine, and then yet the following day, find ourselves with the new robotic technology that we gotta figure out what the problem is. So, you guessed it, the missus has a problem with um, her favorite uh, her favorite manservant, Fred. So we're gonna take a look and see if we can figure out why he's so noisy inside there. There's two things you gotta remember when you tear into something that's kinda new, you know. First off, you have to be resigned to the fact that you might not ever get it back together again. So you have to prepare the appropriate authorities, you know, as to uh, the impending failure. And secondly, you have to remember you know, it's broke to begin with, so all you can really do is fix it by accident, if nothing else. We're gonna go ahead and pop as much of this thing apart as we can. I think the problem is in there with the blower, but uh, we'll find out here in just a few minutes. I hope. Little ribbon connector going there, and there's a little spring that popped off. But let's go for another one. Let me get a little further along on the disassembly and we'll come back to it. Okay, I got a whole bunch of screws out of there and it looks like it's uh, loosening up. I did get a lot of dust out of different things. There's still some uh, wires holding everything together. I'm gonna have to uh, get this last ribbon connector out of here. Then we're gonna have to fire up the air compressor and do a little bit of maintenance inside here. They do not make those things easy to unplug. A lot of cool stuff in there though. I'm gonna fire up the compressor and uh, we'll come back and we'll take a look and see if we can get into this guy right here. That's gonna be our little blower. I think it's picked up something inside that blower. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of here because I wanna see it before I blow stuff out of it because I think that's where the problem is. And there we are. I believe that is the culprit. I'm hoping that's what's causing this to be out of balance and rattle so loudly. So now that I got that cleaned out, I'm going to go ahead and blow it the rest of the way out. And we'll put it back together and see if my suspicions are right. Well, I started putting it all back together, but I thought I better tell you what I actually found in there. This is the little guy that drives the, uh, the brushes right here. There's a little motor there, belt driven, uh, and it's all sealed on the inside. I'm sure it's probably an O-ring or something like that. These little brushes clip onto there. Notice this guy here is nice and tight. You can hear the mechanics of it turn. Okay, well this guy here, there's no turn to it. And whenever I turn this, it's definitely not turning the, uh, the shaft out of the other end of the motor. So I don't know if that's a source of our trouble or not. I just don't know. The problem was excessive noise. So, I don't know. We have to wait and see. Now get the right screws in there. So see guys, small projects like this, just one of any number of dozens of projects that crop up. Sometimes they're quick and simple and sometimes they're not. We had another one uh, before this one that the battery actually went bad on and that's just simple as can be. You can see that right there. The little pull tabs to pull the batteries up and out of there. That's a good sign. May have to pop these back off yet. Don't know. I gotta clean that brush real good. Now the hard part's gonna be the front bumper. This is a two-piece front bumper that's gotta go on. 
Well, this is a one piece, but then the, uh, the trim part's a two piece bumper. This has a male and female side, so uh, one side has to go on first. Definitely this side has to go on first. One thing about it, it'll either work or it won't. Yeah, I should have let these off. You know, I think I said a little earlier that that uh, machine behind me is 106 years old. It's actually 116 years old. Roughly 1909. Okay, I think everything's back together the way it needs to be except for the battery and the brush. I've got to use the air compressor and service this brush really, really quickly. Well guys, you're all the way back together now. And uh, I tell you what I really think, this one here is the good one here. I think this one is the part that's gonna be the problem because this thing was excessive noisy and the only thing I found mechanically wrong in here was the, uh, the failure of that, whatever that is that drives this off of that motor. It's a sealed little area so I think it's an o-ring or some kind of a, uh, a belt drive so let's plug it in I gotta turn it on here we go turn it on like I say it was exceptionally noisy let's see what it does well guys I can tell you <laughs> You've just witnessed uh, an honest to God failure on the part of Tractor Man 44. I really was feeling good about this until I found that part right there uh, while it was in the process of cleaning. Uh, it just kind of seemed to me like that's probably what the source of the noise is. So at any rate, I had it in the title, you know, that it was a failure. And so I hope you didn't waste a lot of time watching this. That's why I edited a lot of it out simply because it's just time consuming locating all these screws and figuring out how this stuff pops apart. But at any rate, it is definitely down for the count. Got some good parts. I'll put it on the shelf and save it for a, another failure of a different one in the future, if anything fits anyway. And that's all there is this one here. And this is Tractor Man 44. And I'm out of here, guys.